Hi, welcome to the Mentored Engineer. Today we're going to start looking at our log splitter project, uh, which will encompass a lot of different aspects of engineering. And I just want to get started showing you some of these aspects. You can see here in this picture that there's a number of components that come together in uh, a log splitter. And it's just a great thing uh, to, to dissect. So first of all, we have, uh, we notice it's a trailer. So we have a uh, set of wheels, we all have an axle, a frame, and uh, eventually a tongue that connects to our uh, vehicle that we tow it with, and a jack. All right, now the log splitting part of it here, we've got this yellow uh, weldment that fits on the end of the cylinder. Uh, it jacks out, and it'll knife against this blade right here. All right, so we got it, we're gonna look at that. We've got a, um, log lifter here that uh, spins around 180 degrees. You see it here, uh, it'll swing 90 degrees to each side. Uh, so we'll have hydraulics. We'll need to be able to size that cylinder and make sure that the articulation of the cylinder works great. Uh, we'll also have three pins to size. And then we'll have uh, some hydraulic work that we want to look at. All right, so looking at it from a, another angle here, we have our hydraulic ram jack here, and it pushes against this yellow piece. And the yellow piece you can see slides on the uh, this frame rail here. We got a top uh, beam, and then there's a little part that gets welded on underneath, and that basically keeps the the weldment from uh, coming up. And one of the main things it does is it keeps us from side loading the cylinder or putting uh, any type of moment into the cylinder. So here we have a hydraulic tank, and I believe it's a two gallon tank. Uh, we have a white spin on hydraulic filter and that keeps our oil nice and clean. We have a six and a half horsepower uh, gas engine. And next to it we have a, a pump that you can't see because it's uh, shielded by the uh, jib uh, hook there. Uh, we have our two cylinders. On our lifting cylinder, we want to make sure that nothing falls uh, if a hose were to break, so we have a, a small counterbalance valve right there. And then here we have two valves, one that controls the in and out motion of the ram jack, and another one that controls the up and down motion of the jib. So I'm excited to get, get to dissecting this and looking at all the things we've talked about. Please join us on the next video as we get started uh, sizing the frame for it. Have a great day.